Agatha's Soul Cauldron is an eye-catching mythic rare that seems at first and second and etc. glance to be an engine for going infinite with. I mean, it seems very simple. Just any creature that taps for more than one mana, any tap mana to untap this card, and then win condition of your choice, like we're putting together a fun little flavor profile. But it's easy to miss the fact that it's also a Luminarch Aspirant that doesn't die to cut down, and it's instant speed graveyard hate. Like, can we not understate the fact that Mono Black plays a Virtue of Persistence that is meant to end the game, and then a single Soul Cauldron just shuts that down by responding to every single trigger? Mono Blue Cauldron is a combo slash tempo deck that's built fundamentally around the interaction of Agatha's Soul Cauldron and Training Grounds, two independently good toolboxy sort of cards. But a lot of people miss probably the best fuel for this deck, which isn't any individual creature. It's the one mana pioneer playable otherworldly gaze, which is one mana surveil three. Simple enough, except it also has flashback two. Evaluated as a one mana spell alongside, say, sleight of hand, it's not great, but it's not that. It's a three mana spell that lets you see six cards. And when you're dumping that many cards in to fuel your removal proof Luminarch Aspirant and also potentially win the game, that's insane. Except it's not three mana, it's one and two mana for flashback. Training Grounds is another one of those cards that has historically been looked at as a tool for going infinite, but done better work when used effectively as part of a tempo strategy to accelerate yourself. In fact, it came out, some people may forget, with the original level up mechanic, flavorfully enough. And it pairs best nowadays with modern unlabeled level up cards like Surge Engine and say the Transforming Phyrexians, Captive Weird, which is my current favorite in the deck as just a standalone excellent creature that turns into a two mana three three drawer card. Trading Round is fantastic and should be looked at not so much as a tent pole for killing an infinite number of opponents, but more as one mana accelerate yourself immediately by cheapening an ability. Surge Engine was always looking for the right piece of tech to push it over the edge from perfectly playable good card to competitive powerhouse. And recently it got Training Grounds, which was just like exactly that, turned Surge Engine into this horrifying threat that also generated a bunch of card advantage and was just really fun to play with. But unfortunately putting those two together is kind of a bit jank and it's really difficult to make a deck work around just training grounds. Then of course Soul Cauldron came along and Soul Cauldron became the East India Company to Surge Engine's Opium, taking over the infinite combo space as well as just mono blue tempo in general because now every creature has one blue become unblockable. With the training grounds one blue become a 5-4 also unblockable. No blue tempo deck would be complete in any format ever without Ledger Shredder, which is just the ultimate one card package to come out of the terrible set that was Streets of New Capenna. It shovels your deck at an incredible pace. It threatens to end the game as you gain card advantage with it. It works in multiples. It eats Thalia on defense before it's triggered a single time. Part of smoothing this deck out is including creatures that put plus one plus one counters on themselves, which is just helpful. But so is drawing cards and attacking and discarding cards naturally and playing defense. We're playing Falaji Archaeologist because it's a decent digger for training grounds that puts a counter on itself. This is Falaji Archaeologist but gets played in Legacy. There are plenty of ways that you could bring the Mono Blue Cauldron together into a cohesive deck and make it into something that goes off and makes clippable moments every once in a while and is generally fun to play. 
I played this deck before Cauldron was out as a sort of patchwork crawler idea, which was fun in its own right. But we do have to sort of cap off the video here by saying that this is an entirely playable best standard build. It struggles against control decks because really what we're looking for is a deck that actually feels upset by us putting down cheap creatures that come up the board, which is mono red. So if you don't like mono red, try playing this deck that has witness protections and Falaji archeologists and captive weirds and just soul cauldron.